Hi, I'm Tony from FreshCatMushrooms.com and today I want to show you my process for transferring mushroom cultures onto agar from either another petri dish or from a culture slant. So the purpose for doing this is so that you can transfer mushroom cultures from one dish to another in order to grow out the culture and eventually add it to grain spawn, uh, which will eventually add to a substrate to grow mushrooms. If you know how to properly transfer cultures and you know how to properly store them on agar or on culture slants, uh, you can keep the culture for a really long time and you can use it for years to grow pounds and pounds and pounds of mushrooms. You can always keep going back to that culture slant or that dish in order to get more of the culture to grow mushrooms. So transferring cultures is a pretty simple process. All you need to do is get a fresh agar dish and your original petri dish or culture slant and use the sterilized blade to essentially cut out a piece of the mycelium and transfer it over to the new dish. This kind of agar work is really sensitive to contamination, so it's best to do it in a still air box or in front of a laminar flow hood, wear gloves, and all the other sterile procedures that you would normally do in order to minimize the possibility of contamination. So here's a couple of the original cultures that I'm going to be transferring to new dishes in order to propagate the mushroom. This is a reishi mycelium. We got some king oysters that we're going to be making new dishes with. Some lion's mane. We also have some yellow oyster and some elm oyster that we've saved on culture slants. Now the first step is to set your plates in front of your hood. Now although these plates should be pretty clean, I still like to kind of rub them down with alcohol. So I've got my original culture here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that down with alcohol too. So in order to make the transfer, I've got a scalpel here. You don't necessarily need a scalpel, just get something with a really sharp blade. Um, these surgical blades are make it really easy. Some of the mycelium, especially the reishi, can be really tough to cut through. So either use a really, really sharp knife, or if you can, get one of these surgical scalpels. The really important thing though with your blade or your scalpel is that you flame sterilize it. You need to flame sterilize it before you cut into the mushroom mycelium to reduce contamination. But you also need to cool it down. So after you flame sterilize it, you need to first uh, insert it into the receiving dish to cool down the tip of the blade before you go and cut your mycelium. Now in order to flame sterilize it, you can use an alcohol burning lamp. Or if you don't have one of those, you could also just put some alcohol in a shot glass. Just make sure you put it in a cup or something like that so that the alcohol can't fall over. Now you want to flame sterilize your scalpel until it's red hot. So you can actually see it glowing red. And you want to do this between every single transfer that you do. Once it's literally red hot, take your scalpel and first cool it in the receiving dish. Then go ahead and cut a piece of your mycelium. And drop it into your receiving dish. Now, take some parafilm, wrap your new dish, and that's it. This should start to grow out over the next couple days. So I'm going to place that aside. We're going to go ahead and do the next transfer. mycelium that you can use here. Or you can go ahead, if it's viable, and just cut a chunk out of this and put it into your grain spawn to grow grain spawn. Now you can also do a similar process with culture slants. Using your scalpel, dig out a piece of the culture. Place that on your dish as well. Pretty much 
it. You can now take these uh, agar dishes with culture on them and put them away somewhere kind of clean at room temperature and watch over the next couple days as the mycelium will jump off that piece of agar that you moved onto the dish and start to grow out throughout the dish. Transferring mushroom cultures on agar is relatively easy to do, although it does take some practice to get perfect. But once you learn how to do it, it's a super useful skill. And then you can use these plates later to make grain spawn, uh, to make more agar dishes, to make culture slants, or just to store them for long-term storage of the mushroom culture. We're going to watch over the next couple days as this uh, mycelium starts to jump off the initial piece of agar and starts to work its way throughout the dish. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony from Fresh Cat Mushrooms, and we'll see you all again.